A very good morning to all. Today we are going to start with the second chapter. The name of the chapter is Paths of a Plant. We can see different kinds of plants around us. Plants which are big, plants which are small. We can differentiate a plant based on its size. Like there are plants which are very tall, there are plants which are very small and there are plants which are medium sized. Even there are different kinds of plants like climbers and creepers. So let's discuss about each kind of plant. The first one, plants which are very tall, the big plants. The plants which are very tall, we call it as trees. Trees are big and strong. They have a hard and broad stem. And trees live for many years. And the next one is the plants which are very small. Plants which are very small, we call them as herb. Let's take some example. Example of mint, coriander. All these are examples for herb. Why? These are very small sized plant. They grow short. And what about their stem? They have a soft stem. That means we can easily bend the stem of a herb. The next kind of plant is the plants which are medium sized. That is called the shrub. There are many examples for shrub like the rose plant, hibiscus, all, all these are shrub. And what about their stem? They have many hard woody stem. They have woody stem. So next let's see about the creeper. Have you heard about the word creeper? There are plants which can't stand straight on its own. So such plants grow along the ground. So such plants are called as creepers. There are many examples for creepers like the watermelon, pumpkin, all these plants grow along the ground. So why do they grow along the ground? Because these plants cannot stand on their own, cannot grow straight on its own. So that is called the creepers. What about the next one? Climbers. Have you heard about climbers? You could have seen many climbing plants like the bitter gourd, grapevine. All these are examples for climbers. There are plants which climb with a support. That means they climb with the support of another plant or they climb nearby objects. These plants cannot grow on its own. So they climb on nearby objects. That is called the climbers. So we learned about the different kinds of plants, which is the first one, trees, herb, shrub, climbers and creepers. Now let's move on to the next topic, which is called the paths of a plant. You know how many paths are there in a plant? There are six paths in a plant. That is the root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit and seed are the different paths of a plant. The first three parts, that is the root, stem and the leaf. It helps the plant to get water, to grow and to make food. What about the next three parts? That is the flower, the fruit and the seed. It helps the plant to grow into a new plant. So these are the different parts of a plant. So today we are going to discuss about the first two parts of the plant. That is the root and the stem. So we will discuss in detail about the first two parts. That is the root and the stem. A plant has many roots. And where do the roots grow? Most of the roots grow under the soil. We can say most of the roots grow below the soil. And do you know what are the functions of a root? So let's see what are the functions of a root. The first and foremost function of a root is it holds the plant tightly to the soil. So that is why a plant is not washed away at the time of heavy rain. Why? Because the root holds the plant 
tightly to the soil. So that is why it is not so easy to pull a plant from the soil. Why? Because the root, the root of a plant, root hold a plant tightly to the soil. Let's see the second function of a root. The second one is it takes water and nutrients from the soil. We all know that plants are living things. They need air, water and food to live. And the root takes the water and nutrients from the soil. It absorbs the water and nutrients from the soil. Then there are some plants like carrot and beetroot. What is special about these plants? They are root vegetables. They grow underground. So these vegetables or these plants store their extra food in their roots. So we learnt about the different functions of a root. The first one, what is the main function of the root? It holds the plant tightly to the soil. And the second one, it gets, it takes water and nutrients from the soil. You have an activity in page number 14. What you can do is, you can observe the recording and mention that activity in your science notebook. Now, what happens? Have you ever thought what happened when you cut the root of a plant or you damage the root of a plant? Do you think will that plant grow? No. If you cut the root of a plant or you damage the root of a plant, the plant cannot grow because a plant needs water to grow and the root gets water and nutrients from the soil. And if you cut the root of a plant, the plant will die. The plant cannot live. Now let's see the different kinds of root. There are two types of root. The first one is a tap root and the second one is a fibrous root. So let's see what is a tap root. In most plants, there is a main root. What is it? Main root. From the main root, there are fine roots growing. Such roots, we call it as tap root. So let's see an example to make it more clear. Here you can see the picture of a plant. And if you closely observe this plant, you can see the main root growing vertically. And from the main root, there are fine roots growing. Such roots are called as tap root. See the next two example. You can see carrot and beetroot. They also have a main root growing vertically. And from the main root, there are fine roots growing. So such roots are called as tap root. Next one, what is the next type of root? It is called the fibrous root. So here you can see there is no main root. Some plants have no main root but they have fine separate they have fine separate root coming from the base of the plant that is called the fibrous root see this example see this picture if you closely observe this picture you can see there is no main root they have thin root coming from the base of the plant such roots are called as fibrous root do you know any example for the plants which have tap root? One such example is the mango tree. It has a main root from its from where small roots, fine roots are growing. So mango plant has tap root. What about fibrous root? If you just pluck a weed from the soil and you observe, you can see it has fibrous root. Wheat, maize, grass, all these plants have fibrous root. It means they have no main root. They have thin root coming from the base of the plant. But in case of tap root, they have a main root from which thin roots are coming. But in fibrous root, there is no main root. So that is about the different kinds of root. Moving on to the next part. The next part is the stem. So where do the stem grow? The stem grow above the soil. A plant can have hard stem or soft stem. If you take the example of a mango plant, it has 
hard stem it has a hard thick stem and what about the mint plant it has soft stem it means you can easily bend the stem and what about shrub the rose plant rose plant is a shrub they have woody stem they have hard woody stem so stems can be of hard and soft now let's see what are the functions of a stem the foremost function of a stem is the stem erects the plant and it carries water and food to all parts of the plant so we already we all know that plants need air water and food to live and the stem transports water and food to all parts of the plant the stem has branches the flower the fruit and the leaves grow on the stem there are plants like sugarcane potato onion all these plants store extra food in their stem so these are some of the functions of stem what is the most important function it transports water and food to all parts of the plant so inside every plant there is a network of tiny tubes there is a network of fine tubes so we all know that the root takes water from the soil and the stem carries this water and it passes through this tiny tubes now have you ever thought what happen if the stem of a plant is cut so most of the plants have the capacity to replace its broken part and it will start growing again so that is about the second part the stem so what did we learn today we learned about the different kinds of plants then we learned about parts of plants we learned the first two part that is the root and the stem what is the main function of the root it takes water and nutrients from the soil and it holds the plant tightly to the soil and the second one the stem what is the main function of the stem it erects the plant and it carries water and food to all parts of the plant plants need air water and food to live because they are living things so let's continue with the next part in the next class till then thank you